Meadowbrook News will begin with the mindful moment. What are some of your hobbies? Um, I like to play video games and, you know, I, I obviously do martial arts. How do you do in your martial arts tournament? Um, so, I basically sparred and I got a uh, second place in sparring, which is pretty good. When did you start practicing martial arts? Um, I started eight years ago when I was five years old and I've been doing it like every day since that. What are you doing in your martial arts lesson? Uh, so usually we like start with a warm up, you know, and then like after that we practice technique during fight and then we actually fight, you know, spar with each other. Would you recommend martial arts to somebody? Um, yes, because it's like, it's super fun and it's also like, it's also a good way to get exercise, so yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, do it. Do martial arts. Trust. This was Andrew. And this was Flay. With the, with the Mustang, Mustang meetup. Hey, you. Hey, it's Gio with the Pride Car Jolly. <coughs> Today's challenge is rock and scissors. <laughs> Cards that didn't get drawn this week will get put into the pizza with friends bucket. It will be drawn at the uh, end of the trimester.
first letter says, Knowledge will bring you the opportunity to make a difference. Claire Fagan. Just a quote for the MB News. Sincerely, Hannah Boone. Very nice paper. These are all shoutouts. Obviously, we can't read them all, so I'm just going to read them to who they're shouted out to. This is William. Zari. Bristol. To Mrs. Yu. Agato. This is Hyun. Ori. Zachary. Zaran. Ryan. Natalie. Raila. Mr. Delegato. I have another question. Let's see what it is. How do you get into the Meadowbrook News or where do you go? Sammy. In seventh grade, we suggest you take digital media so you can record things and then after, at the end of seventh grade trimester, and you you can select your eighth grade elective as MB News, and then once you do that, you have a chance of being in the Meadowbrook News. Look at all these letters. They're all asking, let us use our phone at lunch. Sorry, you can't use your phone at lunch because some people recorded inappropriate things and post them on social media. This was Odin with the MB Mail. Oh, wait, don't we have to all increase those people in time? This is Jamela with the best of the week. What was the best part of your week? Hanging out with friends and family. Best part of my week was definitely hanging out with my friends at lunch. What's the best part of your week? Winning a basketball game. The best part of my week was going to cheerleading practice. What was the best part of your week? Uh, probably running up that mountain for cross country. Yeah, same, probably cross country. PE. Great. What's the best part of your week? The Chargers game. game. It definitely had to be yesterday. We were at Old Poway Park for Mustang Leader training. What was the best part of your week? Celebrating my birthday. What's the best part of your week? Hanging out with my friends. That was Jomella with the best of the week. Oh, hey, Milford. Today, we're going to be asking some Mustangs what they like about school the most. Let's go. Gavin. What is your favorite part of school? Lunch. What is your favorite part of school, Graham? My favorite part is lunch. What is your favorite part of school, Carlos? My favorite part has got to be math. Phew, that was tough, Mustangs. Anyway, I gotta go now. Have a great day. Bye. Hello, Marybrook. This is all the trash that the 8th grade kids picked up. There we go. And let's go throw away the trash. Good morning, Meadowbrook. I'm Graham, and today I'm going to let you know about one of the most current events that has happened in the United States. I present... NBA star LeBron James has given an encouraging update on his son, saying Bronny James is doing extremely well following his collapse while practicing basketball this summer. Bronny James was diagnosed with a congenital heart defect that caused his heart to stop beating. He has undergone successful surgery and is now doing rehab with the goal of playing this season at the University of Southern California. LeBron, who is entering his 21st year with the league, stated that he intends to dedicate the upcoming season to his son because nothing else matters beside family. Good morning, Meadowbrook. This is Tiffany and Roz with the Mustang, Mustang Meetup. Let's go see the teacher we're interviewing this week. Let's go. I'm Miss Caravelli and I teach 7th grade ELA. So what college did you go to? I went to San Diego State University. So do you have any pets? Yeah, I have one dog. Um, her name's Luna and she's a Belgian Malinois. So what's your dream vacation? Um, probably Italy or Bali, but I am planning a trip to Bali for June. So we're going to check that off. What do you do in your free time? Um, I do a lot of hiking, hanging out with friends, going to a lot of music festivals, things 
like that, yeah. So who's your favorite music artist? Fisher. Yes. <laughs> this was Tiffany. And Ross. And Miss Caravelli. With, with a Mustang Meetup. <laughs> Good morning, Motherbrook. This is Ella with a few words of wisdom. Oliver Wendell Holmes, who is a famous American physician, writer, and public speaker, listened carefully to his words. The great thing in this world is not so much where we stand, as in what direction we are moving. To reach the port, we must sail sometimes, with the wind and sometimes against it. But we must sail and not drift, nor lie at anchor. In other words, it's important to pay attention to the direction in which we are moving in life, knowing that sometimes things will be easy and sometimes things will be difficult. Either way, we must keep moving ahead and not allow ourselves to get stuck for too long or drift along aimlessly. Today, ask yourself this. Am I having trouble moving ahead with something, maybe a project or an assignment? Am I drifting along without a goal? If the answer is yes, ask for help. Then pull up anchor and get sailing because you'll never reach port if you don't. With something to think about, this is Ella. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. What's up, Mustangs? This is your ASB president, Ethan. Today, I want to spotlight an incredible individual in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, Dolores Huerta. Some of you might recognize the name, but if you don't, let me share a glimpse of her powerful legacy. Born in New Mexico in 1930, Dolores Huerta has dedicated her life to fighting for the rights of farm workers and the greater Latino community. She co-founded the United Farm Workers alongside Cesar Chavez, and together they changed the lives of countless agricultural laborers. They stood against unfair wages, unsafe working conditions, and racial and gender discrimination. She wasn't just a co-founder. She was a powerhouse in her own right. She coined the phrase, Si se puede, which means, yes we can. It's not just a slogan, but a rallying cry that empowers us that when we believe in a cause and work together, we can overcome any obstacle. So today, as we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month, let us remember and honor figures like Dolores Huerta who remind us of the strength, passion, and resilience of the Hispanic community. Si se puede. This was Ethan with the President's Message. Bye, Metal Bro. Thank you for watching the news. Please stand, face the flag, put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.